Hey, buddy. Come here. Ace. Look at him. He's a drowned rat. He is a mess. He doesn't care. It's he don't raining. care. We love it. Behind me is a Birmingham. It's 10 by 34 on probably the most coveted lot. I picked this lot out when I was developing this property, 72 lots. This is the one lot that I wanted to keep for myself and just couldn't. We put this Birmingham on here. We had to actually cut a tree to get it in here. We did. Man, come here. I want this. This house is for sale for one thirty nine nine. I want to tell you, it's a ten by thirty four. We're going to go inside. I want to show you this lot. It's raining a little bit. This over here is we call it our Central Park, right? It's like mm -hmm. in New York Central Park. And look at the creek rolling, Amanda. Isn't that Isn't pretty? That beautiful. Yeah. And you guys can put a deck out here if you'd want or sitting down on a creek. Now, it doesn't run all the time. It's but seasonal. Man, yeah. it is a beautiful run right now. It'll, it'll run like that for three or four days and then and, go back down. And right back there. And that's our trail. So that's our Central Park. No homes over there. you got a walking trail around, and it connects. The Milligan Mile. The Milligan Mile after my mom. So, everybody... Let's go in and look at this 10 by 24, all right? And we'll explain a little bit about it. I can't get enough of Ace. Look at him right there. <laughs> He's a mess. Ace, look at you. He's loving you. it. <laughs> all right, this color, Randy, is well, my favorite color. See, the? It, that's not red. What do you call it, a burgundy? Uh, that's like a burgundy. Okay. The burgundy lap siding with the board and batten on the bottom. The, the uh, slate... Imitation slate. The rug. faux slate. That Man, is gorgeous. And the indirect light. It's in the woods. We're going to skirt it. It can have a deck. You can all that. Everybody, this is probably the best deal that we've had here. I love the Birmingham's being in the forest. They sit so well underneath these big trees Beautiful. on the creek next to the park. Last house on the end. So there mm -hmm. you go. It's just a. Uh, Wait a minute. Thank goodness it ain't the last house on the left. Yeah. <laughs> that movie scarred me. <laughs> Come on in here. Okay. You know I've seen that movie as a my brother. I I've should, never seen it. I should I should I should sue my brother <laughs> for mental illness because he took me to that movie when I was a kid. Stop it! Are you serious? I swear. Well, you know, back in the seventies. Hey, did your mom and dad not smoke in the car? Yeah. Did your mom and dad not take you to R-rated movies when you were a kid? All the time. We went to the drive-in. That is true. So <laughs> maybe you just have mental illness. Yeah. I, well, I probably do too. All right. I'm getting a little wet. Come on. Yeah. Let's go inside. All right. And this has got vinyl floors. I'm using this called my hillbilly rug right here. <laughs> I'm gonna Ace, let you, you get out of here. We're selling this house. Go get, on. Get your tail out of there. Here, you hold that. And let me get my buckies. Yeah, they're gonna buy it now, man. Ace is trying to put on look, it. Look at show my buckies. Buckies. My umbrella. You gotta take her down a notch. I know. Hold on. My mom used to say, "Don't you dare open that umbrella in the house." Oh yeah, it was a big thing. Is that just a southern thing? I don't know, but and we had to say bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter three times. If we separated between the car going in the grocery now, store. Now, I never heard of that. And we had locked fingers. Now, I've heard of that. Oh. Oh, wow. Drove me crazy. Well. Is this not pretty? I mean, it's a Birmingham guy. All right. So, we don't have it furnished, but man, I'm going to say the first thing that I wanted to point out is this is a deeper, darker V-groove mm -hmm. on the wall. I can tell that. And the ceiling. Oh, yes. Hold on. It has brought in a more of a wood Warm. feel in this house. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get wood, you really never know the final look it's going to have. This is polyurethane. True. And then you've got a white pine trim. So this is more of a yellow pine mixed with a white pine. The contrast. I like the bay window. Now, in the bay window, we got a little bit of yellow pine mixed with the yellow pine trim. And it makes it look real woody, you know? Look at your view. It's just not gorgeous. Oh, my gosh, everybody. Look. So, here's outside. Wow. It's rainy today. Two, Amanda, $200 a month. Oh, my gosh. That's it. And look how pretty. To live here. Look how pretty outside. Wow. Yeah, and there's the creek. Beautiful. That's your view. Yes. Very nice. $139.9, everybody. So, this is the Birmingham, just like you guys have been seeing. This is the big living room. You can put a full-size sofa. You can put a full-size chair, TV, mm -hmm. flat screen TV. This is a home, all living on one floor. Yep. The bay window, of course, the seat you have in here. Mini split, two mini splits. There's sconce lights and all this wood. You got a shot back this way, didn't you, Amanda? Yes, I did. Wow, but I'm the again. ceiling. When I stand here and I'm like, good God. 
Yeah. I like that darker wood color. Look at all the wood. There's it mixed wood. with the white walls, man. The, it's Perfect. Make, you know what? It's making me feel more like a cottage. Yes. Because we're in the woods. So True. more like mm -hmm. a, a country, I don't know, a home in the woods. Yeah. Yes, I love it. All right, so you got a touch, touch screen. Oh, uh, no knobs. No knob cooktop. Uh, range hood, of course, microwave. And you've got our famous cabinets that are dovetailed, mm. no plywood, all, all maple right. wood. Anti-slam. Yeah. Farm style sink, gooseneck faucet, two windows. And we've already, because we made a change, we've already made Look at this. this pantry in this kitchen. <gasps> no. Is that not amazing? Look wow, at the storage. Guys. Yes. So that is the new change. That is the new change. That closet used to go back deep in the bathroom. Oh, yes. And now you've got it here. Very nice. Look at Beautiful. that. Beautiful. Right. right. And in the bathroom. There's a we'll change. Just, we'll just go ahead and come in the bathroom. Okay. And in here in the bathroom, you've got all this shelving. And look, look at there. So much smarter. Amanda, we've so also nice. and we've also made the change of opening the ceiling to the to the shower. Okay, now I want to see that. And yes. you've got all this light coming in, natural light from the shower. That is right. So that is the new change for the Birmingham. This is a 36 inch shower, fiberglass 36 inch shower. Mm -hmm. And then behind Amanda, of course, we have our our small vanity. Let me step here. in here. Yep. And we have a toilet. Now, we in the newer ones, we're putting a 24-inch vanity. Okay. And here, this is a wall mount, smaller vanity. Mm -hmm. Now, some people want the bigger ones. Some people don't. It does give you a lot of room to walk around in it here. It does. All right? We have a lot of, a lot of a wall space that if yeah. you wanted shelves up high, if you wanted cabinets on the walls, you have a lot of room you to grow in You have a lot here. of room to do that. Okay. All right. So Love that. Big bathroom. To finish Here's, up the kitchen. Yep. You know, the... Butcher block countertops. Mm -hmm. Now, we can we can urethane these for you if you want. A lot of folks say, hey, we want to do them ourselves because we want to do a different color. You want to paint them, urethane them And it doesn't yourself. take that long to do it. Look how oh, it's no, just it's that little bit of space. Not much at all. A lot of people want to put their own personality to it. Yeah. But right here, this space here is for the refrigerator okay. and for the washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. Now, my suggestion is, is do not get a full-size fridge because this is 24 inches, right? 26 and, and a half. Mm -hmm. It'll stick out. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to stick out anymore. This is perfectly made to get a walker through here. Mm -hmm. Two people could actually walk past. But that refrigerator is going to stick out. Right. I suggest you guys get no deeper than a 26-inch fridge. Okay. All right. And you get a stackable washer and dryer. Okay. You're going to have beautiful. It's not going to come out any further than your countertop. Okay. So don't get these big full size. And I'm telling you guys, if you're living by yourself or two people, a 10 cubic foot refrigerator is, enough. is plenty. It is. It's right? enough. Okay. Then this is a staircase that goes upstairs. Now, the loft was made for guests mainly as an extra room upstairs. Now, some people are using it for a study, but mm -hmm. the stairs are quite high risers. There's a 12-inch rise for each step. Okay. Now, that's still within the tiny code, tiny home code system that you can maximize a staircase up to a 12-inch rise. Okay. But that staircase, that room up there is about... 15 feet by 10. It's almost 150 it is, square feet. Look how big this space is up here, guys. Almost 150 square feet up there. Wow. So you got four windows, and they're, they're um, egress windows. You crank them out. They're awning windows. You can open them up during the rain. The floor is finished. You can see how beautiful Love it, it is. A the lot shine of room. on it looks beautiful. Yeah. And then there's the stairs. Yeah. It's, there's, yep. They're easy to come up and down. They're just a little tall. Yeah. All right, so you come into the master bedroom. Amanda always comments is how pretty you have a regular swinging a door, regular door for the master bedroom. Yep. You come in. We've done previous videos where it shows you can have a full-size queen bed mm -hmm. and still have about 18 to 20 inches on each side of the bed All the way to walk around. around. Mm -hmm. At the end of the bed, you still have room. Okay, after about, what, 82 inches, I think, for a queen? Yeah. After that, you still have room enough if you would like to put a dresser. Now, you can cover this door with the dresser because behind here is your water heater. Mm -hmm. You're very seldom going to have to get to. Correct. All right, but if you need, you move your dresser out of the way. Right. Gives you a lot of, a lot of room. Now, behind this door gives you another place for an amoir, mm -hmm. all right, or a tall dresser sure. or open shelving. We do that because we never know what you're going to want to do as a tiny home because tiny homes 
you're going to grow into this. Yeah. You're going to say, well, I don't need that closet, Randy. Right. You know, I might want just a coat rack behind it. And Melody in the in the decor, or, you know, decorating the Birmingham that she stayed, she put a desk here. Put a desk. Yeah, so you have a working yeah. space. But you get four windows in here, the sconces, and you also get another mini splits. There's two mini splits in here. Mm -hmm. The one mini split will do the whole house. But because you can close your door up, it doesn't allow the air to come in from Correct. the room. So we went ahead and added another mini split. Yep. Okay. So this house sitting on this beautiful coveted lot. Beautiful. It's one hundred and thirty nine nine hundred and forty thousand mm -hmm. dollars right here. Now we charge two hundred dollars a month rent, lot rent. Okay. So you're buying the house. You can keep this house here forever, every year. Renew the lease. It's just two hundred dollars a month. Gosh, this is a beautiful lot. You know, we held on to this lot for a while. We even had the Mad Hatter here for a oh, while. I just remember? wanted it. You know, it's just a pretty little lot. It was just in. It's on. Is it on Red Cedar yes. or is this Butternut? It's Red Cedar. Yep. It? So and there's your view out there. There's a tree right there. There's. It's just a little quadrant, I guess you would call it, of yep. four yep. tiny homes right here. Yeah. Is all that's around you. So. And I like it because you know you're right it. next to the park. You are. It's, it's probably the most secluded, you know, one we have. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, the wood, I love the changes that you've made. Let me just show those changes one more time here in the bathroom because I don't think I got this view of it. Mm -hmm. But look at the storage in there. And that's adjustable shelving, so you can change the heights of your shelving. In oh, there. my gosh, that's great. Yep. And then the other change was right here, the pantry. Yep, the pantry. This is huge. I mean, what? I know look. that's a little bit up, but you know what? You put stuff up there you don't you use very much. You put crock pots and things you don't use a lot of yep. and stuff. Stuff that you need to just store away. Yep, and more shelving down below. Not oh, nice. my goodness. Love and, you it. know, just to remember also, you know, when you talked about... Um, not having a full-size fridge it's this is a tiny home yeah you're not in a regular home you're in a tiny home so there's still things that you go by that that fits a tiny home you know i've i've had people if they put your shed outside you know place for a shed yeah and you can you can actually put a deep freezer out there if you're concerned you about having more food mm -hmm. and and that'll house more than what you want sure. but to keep this thing flowing and that hallway is, is ample room yeah you know to walk up and down but when you put them big fridges We've had people that I've went into their house and they have filled these things full of shelves. Big, I mean, you can't hardly get down the hallway. I know, yeah. So my suggestion is let's stay tiny, keep this thing open and airy like we have and enjoy the outside, get outside. Let us build you a big old deck out here or you can build it yourself. Even wrap that deck around and go out the backside over great. the creek. All right, I there you guys got it. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Randy Jones with Incredible Tiny Homes. We got videos galore. I'm sure you've been on our YouTube channel. That's yeah. what you're watching it now. Go back. We've been. We probably got. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Close to three thousand videos. Mm -hmm. I'd say. Check us out. See what you think. Give us a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Tell somebody you're thinking about. This is Newport, Tennessee. This is East Tennessee. It's a beautiful place to live. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we'll, this house we'll is move-in ready. It is moving instantly. Ready, ready to go. Ready All to right. go. Yep. And you can call us at four two three. Four three eight zero one one one, or you go to sales at info sales at incredibletinyhomes dot com, yeah, sales or yeah. info at incredibletinyhomes dot com. Mm -hmm. All right, and give us a call, give us an email, let us know that you want the Birmingham in the, in the forest. forest. Yep. All right. All right. See you guys. Have a great night.